Hey guys, today we're back with another host review. And today on the channel, we're going to be reviewing the Tex Shoemaker 42A Walking Dead Rick Grimes Edition. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the 42A Tech Shoemaker Rick Grimes Edition holster. Um, I picked this up from a buddy on one of my uh, code collector groups, and uh, I actually posted on the group and asked, you know, has it, I, I had a picture of this holster, like the of Rick's, and I said, does anybody have one of these holsters? And uh, a few hours later, I got a message from one of my buddies and said, yeah, I've got, I've got one of them holsters. I ordered it straight from Tech Shoemaker whenever they were still a uh, company in business. And uh, I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm not going to be letting it go cheap, but uh, I got a pretty good deal on this. It is brand new, in bag, never, I mean, it's never even had a, had a pistol in it from whenever I got it, from what I could tell. Uh, I mean, pistol in and out of it a lot is what I'm pretty much trying to say. But uh, this is the official Rick Grimes edition. Um, I'll show you all some uh, snaps real quick of the actual... Uh, uh, order number and everything whenever he first ordered it. It was $200 new whenever he ordered it and Tex Shoemaker as a lot of people know has went out of business So you can no longer buy the Rick Grimes holster set up new anymore. So uh, Even though you can get clones and like pretty much uh, gun or holsters that are close to this you can never buy now the Rick Grimes holster anymore so this holster and I also have everything else coming the police belt, the speed loaders, and I'll be reviewing each of them separate, and then I'll have a review to where I have everything set up, maybe some footage of me shooting with it on, and uh, we'll get to that a little bit later whenever it comes in, but this was the first one that I received, uh, and uh, let me tell you something, I'm so glad I got this holster. Uh, every single day that goes by, though, it gains, uh, it gains more value, because like I said, excuse me for a second, I'm going to grab a pistol to show you what it looks like inside of it. Um, as y'all know, I've had two uh, pythons currently. Both of them was blue, neither of them was stainless. But here is my Smith & Wesson 686 with a six inch barrel. We'll go ahead and put it in and I'll kind of show you how it looks. Get passed over. There we go. So here's pretty much how it looks. We'll undo this, show you how it can swivel. If you're walking with it, kind of like how Rick has his done done all the time. So, very beautiful holster, one of the most pretty holsters I've ever seen. Even though it's just like a normal police holster, uh, just because it's pretty much what, it, it is the exact same one that Rick carries on The Walking Dead is why it means so much to me. But uh, as you can see, it's just a beautiful holster and I can't wait to, uh, to actually get everything set up for it and uh, hopefully one day have a stainless python to put in instead of a 686 Smith. But until that day, that one will do. But uh, guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Uh, like I said, uh, this holster right here is was $200 new whenever you could still buy them new. And the cheapest I've seen them go online right now for a used one in pretty rough condition is like $250 and it didn't even have the basket weave. It was just like a normal leather. So if you can find one basket weave and everything and you're a Walking Dead fan, I would even pay up to $300 for one being honest with you. Like, uh, uh, for what it is, this has become a collector's item now since Tech Shoemakers went out of business. Yeah, all the cosplayers can use a uh, Bianchi or Bianchi, whatever it's called, or like a, just a custom holster that somebody's built for them. But to have an actual Tech Shoemaker, the exact same one that Rick wore, is uh, something special to me. And I'll probably keep this for a long, long time, if not forever. Guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Uh, like and subscribe for more gun, knife, and holster reviews. And I will see you all in the next video.